Hey Moglets, so I've been getting bullied by someone named Mako to make Ningguang content. And I said I'd make one tomorrow, so that's what we're doing. He did share a couple of his Ningguang clips so we can watch those real quick. His Ningguang is pretty epic, just like shreds that Ruin Guard in a couple seconds. The only problem is of course my Ningguang is level 1. So you know what time it is? It's farming montage time. All right, I think she's pretty much ready to go. Let's look at those attributes. Yeah, you know, the crit rate to crit damage ratio could use some work, but I think she's definitely strong enough for the first showcase. So let's go into the artifact domain. Um, I wanted to farm some more artifacts. All right, let's see what she can do. I'm going to put a jade screen here and make sure he doesn't break through. <laughs> oh, you're still here? All right, fine. We're going to raise her. Ooh, look at that one tin. I was farming a bunch of ley lines. This is kind of going against my better judgment here because, you know, we'll have new characters coming out soon also. And uh, I've, I'm already kind of struggling on books, but just to get Mako off my back, we are going to raise her. And don't get me wrong, Ningguang is incredible. I've seen some really, really incredible Ningguangs, including Mako's there, but I just don't need to raise her right now. <laughs> Contrary to some people's beliefs, I don't actually have infinite resin. Oh dang, but finally a use for my glaze lilies. I was wondering if I would ever need those. I actually don't think I even have enough to 90 here, because they are so sparse, and I don't farm them because I thought no character needed them, but she does. But yeah, see, we already need world boss mats. I believe she needs the same talent books as Kaching did, yes. And I just used every single book I had to get Kaching Tin Tin Tin. I have some fragile resin left, at least. I remember I figured out a way to speedrun this guy, but I completely forgot it by now. It's been so long. I think that was too early. Whatever, we do have this now. Oh, that did nothing. Yeah, okay, that was pretty fast, actually. Three! Ah, I'm pretty sure I want her with a two-piece Geo, at least two-piece Geo. I think I have some pretty decent ones. Archaic Petra, yeah, I think I have a couple decent ones here. Energy recharge, attack. Let's go ahead and equip that. Here we have a plume. There we go. Oh yeah, what book are we gonna give her? I unfortunately haven't raised Lost Prayer yet. So we're probably just gonna give her Skyward Atlas and just call it a day. Has nice base attack. Really wouldn't ever want her to get 360 elements of mastery from Widsith, so that's a no-go for me. Solar Pearl definitely sounds good. I'd probably, ooh, and it fits her super well. Ooh, that looks pretty on her. Yeah, Solar Pearl would probably be my first choice as a four star. To be fair, I haven't really checked out some of the craftable books yet, so I'm not sure about those. For uh, cube number three, maybe we'll actually bring Ningguang in here. Zhongli is so OP for this boss. I forgot because I hadn't fought in so long. We did get three this time, but we still need to fight it once more since we didn't get lucky enough to get three both times. Also, I could have sworn I had my Ningguang at C6, but she's only C3. How is that even possible? I don't think I have a single other OG 4-star besides Kea, Amber, and whatever, because they're only in Standard, that is not C6. Even one of the newer ones, like Shinyan, or however she's pronounced. C6. Razor, Beto, Fischl, Chongyun, Sucrose, Noel, Shanling, Barbara, Diona, still not Sayu, sadly, Rosaria, Binny, unfortunately, and Water Dude. <laughs> How did Ningguang escape all this time? But I digress. Let's get a nice geo damage goblet on her, which probably I only have one raised, actually. No, I have two raised. All right, cool. We're just going to give her the one Zhongli is not using. It's a good goblet. There's nothing wrong with it. Also, I could consider giving her a Blige, because when I saw that ult hit on Mako's, that was pretty juicy. Oh, dang. She has a really short cooldown on it as well. And only 40 energy cost. Oh yeah, and with Ningguang and Zhongli, we get that OP uh, uh, Geo Resonance. For I, I, I forget about a lot of things, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to build her with HP on purpose for, you know, some extra screen jade stuff. I think that's kind of pointless. And then her basic attacks as well, yeah. Really strong. I know Mako is, is a uh, Ningguang main, so there's that. He has her at 10, 10, 10. But yeah, I think I'm going to raise Lost Prayer as soon as I can. Try and have it for the God Mode Showcase. Eventually, that probably won't be for a while. Perhaps when we have a rerun banner. Big surprise. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> she probably doesn't need that much uh, energy recharge, honestly. Let's see her... Uh... Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay, but now she is hitting the... Oh, that's fast. All right, nice. Still one tapped him. Let's go ahead and do the charge, and then we'll try uh, Ningguang ult. How's that work? Okay, it just went to one, but I think we can take care of the rest here. 
Oh no! Zhang Li first didn't hit all of them. <sighs> Forget it. I'm already a whale, it doesn't matter. Mediocre flower, three of these. All right. Just gotta go craft some of these now, but if I saw that right, we have a ton of small ones. Yeah, we have 115. I don't think we need that many, but whatever. Let's just craft them, it doesn't matter. We don't need the small ones anymore anyway. We're gonna make 36 purples. Why do we have so much Geo stuff? I guess a lot of bosses do drop like random colors as well, so that could be it. But uh, there we go, 70. Let's go ahead and level her up. Hopefully we have enough books. And Mora. We are under a million Mora, which is basically broke. There is 70. So I think the main thing we're missing from not having her C6 is her C6. Of course, the, you know, C3 and 5 are always nice for just the skill bumps. Um, but this, you know, just elemental res increase by 10%. Eh, who needs it really? But we gain 7 star jades when uh, her ult is used. Which, if I understand everything correctly, will really boost up her next charge shot. Damage per star jade at level 1 is 50%. So having 7 of them, you know, gonna be a mighty strong charge attack there. I'll get her C6 next time she's in a banner, and then after that we'll do her god mode showcase. Probably we'll have Lost Prayer raised by that time as well. Anyway, let's go farm some books. 200? I've never done the 200 to be honest. Never ever. In fact, I think that was only the second time I've done the 150. Just because it feels so wrong to spend 150 like Like, that's a whole pull for 60 resin. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just start using some of my fragiles now. Gonna keep Ningguang in my team, but uh, switch out the others so it just works a little better. Alright, let's see what that Jade screen do. What? Dude, what? <laughs> it's level 1, I think. Uh, wait, what? She's level 70. What? I am confused. Geo must have some kind of massive bonus here. <laughs> I, I don't believe that. We got a purple. No, it doesn't. Uh, that was the Abyss Mage one, maybe. What in God's name is going on? It, it, maybe Geo Resonance is just that strong? Maybe Ningguang is actually that strong? <laughs> like, I don't even need to use Ganyu. I didn't use Ganyu, actually, at all. Let's use her burst. That w oh my god, they're dead. This is a level 70 Ningguang with level 1 talents. I want to raise those talents a little bit, even like in the middle of farming. I just want to see, honestly. That's as far as we can get Jade Screen, unfortunately. 14 now. 14k from a few levels. And, uh, oh yeah, well, I didn't raise that yet, so... She is actually crazy. I'm also not doing any charge attacks, which I guess I should. I usually just raise them in bulk, but... <laughs> I can't wait. Ooh, yeah, she's not, uh... She, 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 she's a little bit fragile, though. I can't get too careless. <laughs> Alrighty. Star Shatter going to 5. I think I can get her normal attack up a little bit as well. We're gonna need to spend a few more condensed resin if we want to try and get her at least like, you know, 669. No funny number intended. Let's go ahead and grab a, uh, three more condensed and hopefully that'll be enough. Forget it, let's just go five. My last two crystal flies as well. Let's just hope it's enough. You know, honestly, now I'm thinking I, I just want to boost, boost Ningguang. Get out of here, Ganyu. Also, I guess I don't really need Water Dude very much here in this case. Uh, Benny should be good. We're just gonna go Hu Tao for the, uh, resonance. 25 attack. Also, Ningguang doesn't deserve to suffer that much, so we're going to give her some food. Let's see what she can do with a Binny, Binny boost. 24! 11, what? Oh, uh, I'm trying not to scream so loud because it's like 3 in the morning here, but oh, I can't really contain myself. Just jade screens. Here. Oh, there my god, dude, they're dead. <laughs> Wait, that one has a little bit. Let's just do her burst. Along with some jade screens. That is insane for being level 70 with still very low talons. I mean, to bring us a little bit back down to reality, her artifacts are pretty good and she has a five-star weapon. Obviously, the artifacts are not perfect, but they're better than what you would find if your typical leveled hero was 70, right? Jade screen going to six. Let's go. 17k now without any Benny boost. You got any purples? For oh yeah, wait. I don't guess I don't really need purples yet, but I'll need them at one point, so whatever. Let's go ahead and take all the brown ones you have at least because I don't think we need those anymore. No bonus, come on, Eula. Yeah, we still got quite a ways to go. We're only at 468. 25 from her jade screen. I can't. 
Actually, yeah, don't give me purples, because I've noticed when I get purples, I get less of the silver books. Uh, that was a not crit. Here's, ooh, Q? Oh, ooh, okay. They all went invisible. 26, bro, that's insane. Jade screen is max for now. Star shatter is also max for now. Uh, we have no books. Okay. Uh, since I really, really, really don't want to spend any more resin, we're going to go craft the uh, brown ones and probably just stick with her basic at five. Come on, Eula, give us three bonuses to make up for last time. Or zero. But I'm actually so impressed already. Like, she's a, a C3 four star uh, at level 70 with still not that high talents. I mean, for 70, I guess they are. Artifacts, I'd say, aren't horrible, actually. Uh, the attributes, though, don't look very impressive. You know, 2200 attack actually isn't bad. And of course, the, I guess, 85, sometimes higher when she passes through the uh, Jade screen because of this thing. I want to try Rock Frog, actually. And just as an extra little challenge to myself, I'm not going to use Hu Tao. She's literally only there for resonance. But the other three, yeah, we're, we're going to utilize them. 70, so cute. All right, yeah, just going to go ahead and start with the general stuff here real quick. And then just, uh, oh yeah, no, we need to get Benny first. Uh, let him take that hit. Jade screen, which uh, automatically, oh no, get off my ring. This again. All right, he's going into his other phase now, so we're just going to um, start the whole chain over for the next phase. All right, Benny boost to start. Please don't stand on it, dude. Oh, there he goes. Ah, I keep getting non non crits. Okay, but we're getting like 7k there from the uh, ult. That was a charge attack. <laughs> okay, yeah, now he's going into Electro, so we're just going to save Benny's ult for that. Sure, we'll go ahead and try and blast his tail a little bit. Was that an 11k? 14k? I thought the tail had some kind of extra resistance, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, jeez, everyone's dead. Well, no, it's just Benny. Oh, he's stomping again. I gotta get out of here. Go, Ningguang, you can do it! Oh, jeez. Go! Oh no! Oh, she did it! <laughs> no, stop dying though. Oh, that was a close one. Zhongli, I couldn't have even revived because uh, I just revived Benny. Oh yeah, we didn't even need to do that. <laughs> and that would have been the end of it because I said I wouldn't use Hu Tao. And I didn't. But yeah, let me go to a healing station real quick. It's also cool she shows where the uh, ore is on the map. I'm actually only coming here for crystal flies, but obviously can't pass these up when you see them. Where do you think you're going? Oh, I know we can do a ruin guard because that's what Maku showed me. All right, let's see this here. Ah, what, what was that? It was a non-critical. Okay, let's just do her ult. Okay, yeah, My, mine's obviously a little bit weaker, but that'd be kind of sad if <laughs> if she wasn't. Still not too bad, actually. He also didn't use Benny, but that's his fault. All right, here we go. What the heck is that? No criticals again. Come on. She needs to be a little bit stronger to kill him after that. That was a 17k charge, though. Just saying. Here we have some Fatui. May as well try that out as well. Okay, that guy's already dead. 16. Let's just do her Q. I think that was 12k from one of the rocks. Insane. But I suppose that would pretty much do it. Uh, I know we only got her to 70. Kind of wanted to do 80, but there's just no way. Wonder how many Geo bonuses I can get. I'm sure it stacks. Don't know what else to say besides I'm actually really impressed. I definitely don't regret raising her. I know I would have done it at one point or another anyway. Um, but I think I have to wait until a rerun banner comes around to actually max her. So please be patient. Make sure to drop any thoughts you have in the comments down below. Leaving a like on this video if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Recently past 350. Really want to thank you guys for that. I think I did already, but I digress. See you guys.